The region. Veuve Clicquot is one of the most eminent vineyards in the Champagne region, which lies in the northernmost limit of Europe's wine-producing latitudes. The region's temperature, rainfall and sunshine, though at times a constraint, provide favorable conditions for growing vines, and its chalky subsoil is an excellent moisture regulator. The Veuve Clicquot vineyard, one of the finest in terms of quality and at more than 500 hectares, Champagne's second largest, produces some 25% of the house's grape requirements. Over the years, the house has established relationships in the Champagne region with certain other wine growers who, chosen for the quality of their vines, provide the remaining grapes needed. This remarkable legacy began with Madame Clicquot and has been carried forward by her successors who faithfully endeavor to uphold her founding motto, only one quality, the finest. The Vines The vineyard's three main vine types are Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier, which grow black grapes with colorless juice, and Chardonnay, which produces white grapes. The Pinot Noir is mostly planted on the Grande Montagne de Reims and the Côte des Barres. The Pinot Meunier in Vallée de la Marne and on the Montagne West de Reims and the Chardonnay in the Côte des Blancs and the Côte de Cézanne. The Veuve Clicquot Vineyard has an outstanding rating of nearly 97% on the Échelle des Crues, a system for classifying the quality of vineyards. For several years, the house has practiced integrated viticulture techniques to demonstrate its commitment to conserving the environment. Work in the vineyard, carried out by 100 or so of the house's wine growers, begins with winter pruning, which helps control the quality and quantity of the grapes. The elimination of unwanted shoots or disbudding designed to produce a better quality yield takes place in the spring. The vines continue their annual cycle through to the ripening stage. From season to season, the vine growers perform their traditional tasks until 100 days after flowering, the grapes are at their best in terms of quantity and quality for harvesting. Harvests generally take place between mid-September and early October. Harvesting is an important time for the house. Veuve Clicquot employs over 1,000 grape pickers at its vineyards for this task alone. To qualify for the Champagne Appellation, the yield is strictly limited and the grapes are picked by hand. The house's fermenting rooms are located in the heart of the vineyard. This reduces the distance between the vines and the wine presses and helps to conserve the quality of the fruit. Production Pressing takes place in the house's pressing centers. The process is delicate, performed with the least amount of pressure to make sure that the black grape skins do not discolor the must, the name for the unfermented grape juice. Grapes from different vines and plots are pressed separately to preserve the characteristics of each terroir until blending. The precious liquid is transported to Reims and transferred into stainless steel vats. The must turns clear thanks to gravity, then yeast is added to start the first fermentation process, alcoholic fermentation, which transforms the must into a still unsweetened wine. A few weeks later, the house's experts begin the tasting process, sampling some 600 batches from the year's harvest. Assisted by the cellar master, the experts classify the samples according to their individual and complementary characteristics. Wines that do not meet stringent quality criteria are rejected. Those wines that do make the grade are either stored to become reserve wines or, in the case of the highest quality wines, chosen for the year's vintage. At Veuve Clicquot, blended wines are composed of two parts, juice from black grapes to provide structure and body, and one part from white grapes, which adds finesse and elegance. The quality of the cru combined with outstanding reserve wines ensures that the non-vintage cuvee uphold the house's consistent, identifiable style. The skill of the onologists, the keepers of the house's flame, is the result of teamwork, experience and memory. These experts constantly strive to achieve the perfect balance and harmony that have characterized the style and reputation of Veuve Clicquot for over two centuries.
Mm. The wine is then bottled, and after sugar and yeast are added, taken down to the cave or cellars, which are housed in ancient chalk quarries. The bottles are laid down so that the wine can stay in contact with the lees, yeast sediment. During the long aging process, which at Veuve Clicquot lasts much longer than the period imposed by regulation, bubbles begin to appear as the sediment forms. The final stage is riddling, a process that involves turning and tilting the bottles so that the yeast sediment sinks to the neck of the bottle. The first riddling table was invented by Madame Clicquot in 1816. Today, this operation is performed by machines. Only bottles in special shapes and larger sizes are riddled by hand. All that remains is to disgorge the deposit that has formed in the bottle's neck, another process that was originally performed by hand. A sweetened liquor of subtly blended sugar and reserve wine is then added. The dosage of the liquor determines the style of the champagne, brut, sec, or demi-sec. Nowadays, the disgorging and dosage processes are entirely automated. The bottles are finally ready to be corked and then returned to the cellars. The chalk cellars provide ideal conditions for storing the bottles. After just a few months, the Champagne's legendary blend of flavors will achieve perfection. At the heart of our Gallo-Roman chalk quarries lie 20 kilometers worth of cellars, housing thousands upon thousands of bottles in the silent darkness. Only then is Veuve Clicquot Champagne ready for tasting. And now for the finishing touch. A cap, a neckband, and the Veuve Clicquot label are added to each bottle with typical care and attention to detail. Wines. The non-vintage Brut Carte Jaune, with its world-famous yellow label, is a full-bodied, well-balanced champagne that perfectly embodies the style and steadfast consistency of the house. The non-vintage Demi-Sec is sweeter, smoother and crisper, the perfect complement to desserts. The house's vintage champagnes, vintage, vintage rosé and vintage rich, are always produced from grapes harvested in a single year. These wines reveal an extraordinary degree of substance and refinement that will continue to be enjoyed for generations to come. The quality of the house's prestigious La Grande Dame Cuvée results from the blending of several of the house's Grand Cru. This vintage dated wine of incomparable finesse was created in homage to Madame Clicquot, who was dubbed the Grande Dame de la Champagne by her contemporaries. These cuvées of exceptional quality are the proud standard bearers for the house of Veuve Clicquot Pensardin all over the world.